Hello friends, my name is Hamid. Today I have this uh, over the range microwave uh, blower uh, motor and I'll show you how to rewire this, how to run it um, using a cheat wire or if it's not in the microwave and, and you, you found a microwave from somewhere and you want to use this uh, blower in your garage or in somewhere that you want to run it for the air circulation, you can use it. It's very easy and simple and I'll explain it to you with details. Okay, anytime you uh, pull this um, motor out, um, it comes with this with this um, wire diagram here on the side for the motor. Uh, if you don't have this uh, wiring diagram, you can always pull out the wiring diagram from the microwave itself and follow it from there. Yellow and red goes to the capacitor. Remember this, these two wires. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna draw this wiring diagram here um, on, the, on the glass here I have. So according to that wiring diagram, I'm gonna make a bigger wiring diagram here. So that way you can understand the process here. Uh, so we got this uh, straight line here. And then over here, we got the multiple power. This is more easier to understand. I got my blue wire, which is there. So this is our blue wire on the motor itself. I got the black wire. The black wire is going right here. This is my black wire. And I got my white wire. The white wire is here. This is our white wire. The gray wire. And then I got the yellow wire. I got red wire. And here's my power. So my power would be this uh, plug right here. Blue, black, white, gray, yellow, and red. Yellow and red is these two, which goes to the capacitor. And microfarad capacitor. So here's the capacitor, the way it goes. Um, so what we are gonna do is, um, I will have to cut this connector from here, from the motor. All of the wires are ready here. Um, I also got two morats here. I will be using this, the wire uh, morats. In order to run this motor, we have to give it power. So the power has to go and start the motor. But we, since we have six wires, we're confused here and we don't know which wire goes where, how to uh, use a cheat wire on this to uh, make it running. If you don't know and you're connecting wires just on the, uh, on the power, uh, it's gonna burn the motor, it's gonna trip the breaker or it may cause uh, uh, problems we don't want that so we want to understand this i got my blue wire this blue wire is our main wire you remember this the blue wire is our main run wire so this is the most important one blue and now we got five other wires the two wires goes to the capacitor this is the capacitor um, so I got these uh, yellow and red. What we can do is I will add these together, the yellow and red. I'll just add it here together for now because I'm using a cheat wire. And now we got three other wires left. 
So what we can do is to make it easier, you can add all of these wires together. I added the black, white and gray, these two, one, two, three, these three get together, comes here as a wire and then our blue wire is coming from other side. So technically I got these three wires here on one side of the line for the power and then I got another one the blue one here it goes on other side and that's how it runs uh, so I'm gonna put these morats uh, morat goes here this one is safe so for for this wire I'm I have a switch on off switch I'll plug it in here And also to make sure I'm on the safe side, I will double check this to make sure there's no power here. And I'm gonna turn it on. See, I got power. Turn it off. Okay, so it's off. Now I can work on my electrical stuff here. The blue goes on one side. And then the white, gray, black goes on other side i need another morat but i don't have it so i'm not gonna touch anything be careful when you are doing this stay on the safe side so i'm gonna turn it on now so what it does now because I bypass the capacitor, you shouldn't be bypassing the capacitor because capacitor helps the motor. Uh, it gives it a little bit extra kick to your start. So if you have a capacitor, you can add a capacitor. And if you're running a motor, you need to have a capacitor. If you're running it the way I did, it's going to cause issues. The motor will overheat uh, and it may not work the way it's supposed to or it may possibly uh, trip the breaker. So this was one way. And then the other way is add your capacitor. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm just testing this. Okay, so the capacitor is in. Put my mats here and now you will see how fast the motor starts see it started right away so this is how you uh, rewire your blower motor on a microwave and the reason i added these uh, three wires together the black the white and gray uh, so on the on the wiring diagram it's showing you the black white gray the black is always the fast speed the white is the medium speed and the gray is the lower speed the lowest speed um, so this runs according to the control board of the microwave each time you press it on off or on and then it shows one speed press it again it shows the second speed and then you press the third time it's going to go to the fast uh, uh, the slower speed so when you press the microwave it shows the the first speed which is not very uh, which is not very fast that's the gray and then on the second time when you press the microwave blower button uh, it goes to the white wire that con gets connected to the blue wire and then you'll have second speed it's a little bit faster and then when you press it on the third time it gets super fast which is the black wire so in that stage the black wire and blue wires are getting power these uh, two wires are not uh, connected to the to anything so that's how you uh, connect the microwave uh, blower or motor i'll run it again If you look at it, when I press the start, 
you can kind of see the motor is hesitating to start see it starts very slow just gonna stop it see that but when i add the capacitor here it goes way faster and you will see it You see that on the spot, the motor kicks in, gets faster. I have the black wire hooked up here, which is the fastest speed. I'm gonna turn it on and you will see. See how fast it is? And here's the white. And here's the gray. This is the lowest. See, black was the fastest one. White is medium. Gray is the lowest. I also forgot to mention this to you. See the black H. That's the high speed. White L. Lowest speed. Gray S slow speed high low slow thank you so much for watching my videos if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel share it with others you can also follow me on facebook it's called hamid appliances repair uh, please excuse the back because uh, we are doing a little bit of renovation so everything is all over the places uh, another uh, thank you for uh, supporting me david covington uh giving me a carriage to work on more appliances and uh do good on uh, youtube thank you so much